CBS's MTS Tayab says Ukrainian officials say energy centers and residential buildings were hit. A battery of Russian missiles and drones struck several major cities. Little was spared and lives lost as millions more were plunged into the cold and dark. It doesn't make sense to me how this can happen in the 21st century, this president says. It's like we're being attacked by wild people. But it's in Bakhmut, where the fighting remains the most intense, as the Kremlin continues to desperately pursue its first major territorial gain in over half a year. Losses felt no more acutely than at the funeral of 29-year-old medic Yama Lukyuska, who was killed treating injured soldiers in a field hospital outside Bakhmut. Her mother cries in anguish. Oh, Yana, my baby, my little one. Now to Washington, where CBS's Nicole Killian has the latest on the Senate Republican leader who's in the hospital. Mitch McConnell was taken to a D.C. hospital last night after suffering from a fall. A spokesperson tells CBS News he tripped at a local hotel during a private dinner. He has been admitted to the hospital where he is receiving treatment. It remains unclear what his injuries are at this point or how severe. In 2019, the GOP leader tripped and fell at his home in Kentucky and suffered a shoulder fracture. There's where hackers may have gotten access to the sensitive personal data of members of Congress and their families from a breach of a Washington health insurance marketplace. Intelligence analyst Alan Liska says the records have value. Looking at the ads on the underground forum where this is being sold, the attacker absolutely are aware of that and they are pouting the fact that there are congressional records in there. We'll hear from President Biden today about his proposed spending plan. The White House says the president's budget will call for an increase in taxes on individuals making more than $400,000 a year to bolster the Medicare trust fund and reduce annual deficits by nearly $3 trillion over the next 10 years. The proposals will be dead on arrival in the GOP-controlled House but the way the White House sees it, the American people support what we're doing, and there is a choice to be made. Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre says the public in particular backs tax increases on the wealthy. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, Washington. In California, 17 million people are under flood watches ahead of a massive storm system. CBS's Carter Evans says new snow is also an issue in some places. A new layer of snow covered the Lake Tahoe area, prompting road closures. We flooded in all the gasoline on our toboggan. Many residents' homes and cars have been trapped on all sides by snow that just keeps piling higher. People in mountain communities across California have spent weeks with shovels in hand. And it gave three to five inches, five to eight, and then five to eight turned into a foot or more every 12 hours. And while elevated communities could see several more feet, many more Californians are under flood watches. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Office says at least one person was killed by the previous storm, while 11 others were found dead during welfare checks. Even after two weeks, people here are struggling. Probably about a million cubic yards to dig up. It's a daunting task. A prosecutor in Newport News, Virginia, says he will not seek charges against the six-year-old boy who police say shot and wounded his first grade teacher at school two months ago. It's thought the child is too young to have competency to stand trial or understand the proceedings. Vonda Pendleton's grandson attends the school. Someone is responsible, and someone needs to be held responsible. It is possible the boy's mother could be charged. Four minutes after the hour. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.